Hey guys, and today I'm going to be showing you how to draw a hyperbola using the principle of the constant between the two lines going to the hyperbola. And the way this works is I have my ruler here, I have a string attached to it, and demonstrating the distance from our first focus point to the hyperbola, and the distance from our second focus point to our hyperbola. And I'll demonstrate this a little more at the end. But what this does is it creates put our pen down, and then as I slowly pull this down, our pen, as you can see if I keep it right up against the ruler, gets pulled away. Creating one of our hyperbola lines, then I simply remove this pivot point or focus point, put it back in, place our marker back underneath, and pull it up tight against the ruler. The hardest part is holding this tight against the ruler as you're moving it. it takes a little practice, but it does work. Let me see here. There we go. Got our second hyperbola line. Now all we have to do is swap sides. So we put our string pivot point here, and we put move our ruler pivot point to the other side. Put our pen back underneath here. It can be a little bit hard for you to see here, and I apologize for that. I try to keep my hands out of the way as much as I can during these videos, but for this setup, it is really hard to do that, and my tripod's going to get in the way a little bit here, too. So, that's as far down there as we can go. I wish I could go further. I'll try and, uh, actually, I'll try and move this real quick so we can go a little bit further down here so you can truly get the demonstration of this. Here we go. I just moved it around my tripod. I'm going to pull this tight so you can see here. We're still keeping the same distance. I'm just going to pull it down. There we go. Keep it right up against there. You can kind of see how this would fill in there if I were able to move around my tripod a little bit better. I'm going to have to consider that for future videos. But here we go. Swap this around. Put it back in the second point. Yep, my little string came out there, so we're going to move him tight. My hand out of the way here so you can see what's going on. And I'm going to slowly pull this tight against the ruler. The string's trying to escape there. There we go. And pull this tight. And you can see there we have a perfect hyperbola. And I'm just going to draw this in a little bit so you can see better. There we go. And that's our perfect hyperbola drawn using a string and a ruler. And the principle of the constant I was showing, which is the difference between the two difference, the two distances from one focus point to the hyperbola, that constant is demonstrated right here by the by the string's length as compared to the ruler's length. So this distance right here, where the first focus point pivots and the second focus point pivots. So if I were to even have it pivoting up here and I pulled that string out there so you can see you can see that say it would be up here on the hyperbola the dis difference between these two distances is still this distance right here so that's always going to be constant no matter where I draw and hope that makes sense to you and helps you out a little bit it took me a while to figure this out so thank you for watching and as always have a fantastic day